Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another session of total quality management in our last session we started discussing quality as a concept we discussed example of arnold palmer hospital analyzed the definition of quality implications of quality cost of quality ethics and quality management we looked at the difference between quality control quality assurance and total quality management we also discussed iso 9000 international quality standards our agenda for today's session is traditional quality concept and total quality management demings 14 points total quality management continuous improvement six sigma employee empowerment benchmarking just in time taguchi concepts knowledge of total quality management tools now i will request our expert dr mohammad abbas choudhury to advance our understanding on the key concepts of total quality management well thank you asha and uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen uh i believe you'll recall during the last session we discussed the concept of quality and we tried to differentiate between quality control quality assurance and total quality management you will recall that we define and uh, according to the total quality management association of uh, usa the quality is the ability of the product and services to meet perceived or required or implied con Uh, requirements to meet the implied or uh, perceived requirements of the customer that is what the quality was and we also discussed that quality control the focus is on the product in quality assurance the focus is on the process whereas in total quality management which is a concept in its totality it ought to be implemented and today we'll be discussing the total quality management and what are its uh, aims objectives how it's implemented and what are the uh, techniques we use in total quality management i think it's better if we start with defining uh, once again what do we mean by total quality management in fact it is an all over encompassing term which encompasses entire organization from supplier to the customer as you recall we'll discuss that input process output and even beyond our suppliers become part of the total quality management systems and similarly our customers also become part of the total quality management system and this approach stresses a commitment by management to having a continuing company wide drive towards excellence in all aspects of product and services that are important to the customer that is what actually total quality management is a commitment organization wide commitment to excellence in quality now if we don't deliver quality uh, product or service it has costs related to it you will recall we discussed that cost uh, sometime people say uh, quality doesn't come without cost but in certain degree it may be true but actually when we follow the total quality management concept the total cost need to decrease not increase uh, uh, look at uh, if if the product or service does not comply with the specifications or does not comply with quality standards what happens we get defects that is work not to the specifications then rework it means if there is a defect then we need to correct that defect which work requiring the correction then scrap means if a product or a service or part of product or component is not up to the spec specifications you may have to discard that and that goes to scrap that is a cost then backlogs means if you are not able to really uh, your your production you are engaged in uh, correcting the defect or rework and uh, scrapage then obviously you are not going to meet the uh, production targets I means then that can generate backlogs work behind the schedule late deliveries if schedule is late you will deliver the late work after the due date and surplus items or overproduction may also occur means these are the costs that are associated with non conformance of with the quality 
Now, again looking at the traditional concept of quality, which says as the time passes and if you reduce number of defects, your costs go up. That is the traditional concept of quality, uh, which tells us that if you strive for quality, it's going to cost a fortune. But in total quality management concept, that is not the case. Looking at this, uh, 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 this chart on, on your right, total quality concept says as that over a period of time, as you decrease the number of defects, your costs also decrease. It means there will be no rework, there will be no scrap, and uh, uh, the other issues. As such, total quality management is a concept that strive for quality first time. And, uh, and as we achieve perfection in the quality, we decrease cost and also hence the profitability to the corporation. Right. Sir, so, uh, we have uh, talked about Deming and others as the quality gurus. Would you let us know what Deming's philosophy is all about? I think uh, Deming has, uh, has summarized his philosophy in what we call uh, Deming principles or 14 Deming uh, points or 14 Deming principles. Uh, again, uh, these Deming principles go across the spectrum of the organization and it involves all important elements of total quality management. Uh, for example, Deming says create consistency of the purpose. You remember we discussed the mission statement? Consistency of the, pers uh, of, of the purpose in an organization comes from the mission statement and that is what Deming says. Then lead to promote the change. Uh, another uh, important and significant uh, uh, issue in quality management is that you have the support from the top. I mean, the company president or the company managing director means and successively in the letters, the support should be provided to the quality as a concept. Then build quality into the product and stop depending on inspection. It means inspection is once you have already produced something and produce either it meets the specification, it's good or it's bad. But the total quality management concept as described by Deming is that you build quality in the product so that your product is good and in the inspection I means obviously a certain degree of inspection is always needed and certain degree of inspection is needed to improve the quality very further. If you build quality in the product, you do not rely on inspection. Inspection is a, a standalone process at the uh, at, at the not at the end but while you build a product or you deliver a service you keep on continuously looking at as such the quality is built in the product then Deming says build long-term relationship based on performance not on price that is the basically with your suppliers with your suppliers part suppliers or with your vendors it is not that whoever supplies you uh, uh, relatively at a cheaper product do not uh, the Deming says that is not uh, the uh, objective. In total quality management, build long-term relationship. It is not that you buy one lot from supplier A and the other lot from supplier B and the third lot from uh, supplier C. No. Deming says you build long-term relationship, long-term commitment with your suppliers. Then De uh, Deming keeps on saying continuously improve product quality and service means service or uh, quality of service or quality of product is not a one shot operation. You have to continuously, I means from procurement all the way until delivery, that is a continuous process. And then you don't, once a product is produced or a service is delivered, you don't stop uh, improving quality. It is a continuous and ongoing process. Then Dering says start training. Means without training, you cannot build a good product or you cannot deliver a good service training of the employees, training of the managers, and whatnot, and training of your suppliers, and so on. Then emphasize leadership. Means at every level, while the product is designed, or product is manufactured, or product is sold, at each level, you have to have, you have to create the, the clusters of uh, uh, leadership. Means at each level, the people uh, really go for quality, deliberate effort to achieve quality. Now, uh, the Deming says drive out fear. Sometime 
uh, in the organization we don't you know uh, total quality management is a transformation it is a mindset change throughout the organization sometimes we say if we make this change or that change that probably is not going to work or that may cause some harm or that may uh, we may lose some revenues Deming says drive out fear means if change is warranted change will be there and do not afraid of making a change then Deming says break down barriers between the departments generally uh, in a traditional organization departments are fortified in their positions finance is uh, standalone marketing is there quality control is there production is there and so on all these departments they are they seem that they are standalone uh, units Deming says all these departments should be working together to strive for quality then stop harranging workers means workers don't need not to be really uh, bogged down at each step let them uh, uh, give them empowerment or empower the workers right then Deming says support help and improve how you empower the worker support the workers help the workers and improve the workers capabilities and qualities then remove barriers to pride in work sometimes working is considered a uh, person is working and that is uh, uh, considered to be mean no Deming says work is pride let the workers take pride in what really they do institute vigorous program of education and self-improvement improvement doesn't come in a day it is a gradual process it always you do uh, things once twice three times learn learn from colleagues it is a continuous process and Deming emphasizes on that then Deming says put everybody in the company to work on the transformation as total quality management is a transformation process from the traditional to improve from uh, from the defect to excellence in quality excellent in product and excellence in service Deming says it is a transformation process and everybody in the organization should be working and I won't say organization in the system in the system of delivering a product or a system of delivering a service everybody ought to strive and play his or her role uh, or de as a department as a corporation in the complete transformation process that these are the 14 Deming points sir what are the fundamental concepts of total quality management okay well Aisha we were discussing the 14 Deming principles essentially these 14 Deming principles could be uh, I would say uh, compressed in its imp for, for its implementation could be compressed in what we call seven TQM concepts and these seven TQM concepts are the continuous improvement uh, the second one is Six Sigma third one is employee empowerment fourth benchmarking fifth just-in-time concept Taguchi concept and knowledge of the TQM tools these are the seven fundamental concepts in total quality management we'll describe uh, each one of that uh, in a, in a uh, little uh, details for example continuous improvement I think uh, uh, Deming and Crosby and all other TQM uh, experts they emphasize on that it is not a one-shot operation continuously organization-wide effort is required to be uh, in the improvement of the product or improvement of the service it says represents the continuous improvement represents continual improvement of all processes not one pro process or one product or one organization or one department no it is a continuous improvement improving all the processes then it says involves all the operations and work centers including suppliers and customers again it is a systemic uh, transformation from the uh, suppliers all the way to the customer for example the customer service customer service is to be the part of the total quality management system similarly when you receive uh, uh, products or when you receive uh, parts or subsystems from uh, your suppliers then you have to train your uh, suppliers and you have to really uh, uh, impart and instill the total quality principles from suppliers and onward then what is important people equipment material and procedures continuous improvement in people by training equipment in, uh, in equipment by bringing more better technology by keeping uh, the equipment well in shape and so on materials 
I mean, quality of material is absolutely significant in building a good product. And then procedures. It means uh, uh, there are procedures which you can live without. And there will be procedures where you can improve the procedures to build a quality product or a quality service. Then, uh, as, as, as we are time and again emphasizing that TQM is a process and that is systemic change. When we say look at the process, it, it starts with the input. Then process is value adding transformation involving people and other resources. And then output, the examples would be uh, billing and uh, let's say printing an invoice or computing software or liquid fuel or clinical device or banking service or, uh, or intermediate product. Means all this starting from your suppliers, subsystem suppliers, your component suppliers, and then you build, transform them into a process, uh, process them into a product or service. That is what continuous improvement. How that has happened? Shivat uh, gave PDCA model uh, that says that model says plan, identify the improvement and make a plan. Do, test the plan, check. Is the plan working? Act. Implement the plan. This is again, the, since this, this circle indicates you always continuous improvement means you always continue plan, do, check, act, plan, do, check, act. This is an ongoing process. You never stop. Again, this is the continuous improvement. Now, the next technique or next concept which we use in a total quality management is Six Sigma. Six Sigma has two meanings. One is from the statistical perspective and other is from the, uh, from, from, from the TQM perspective. Looking at from the statistical perspective, the definition of a process that is 99.9997% capable. What does that mean? That means 3.4 defects per million opportunities. It means if there are uh, 1 million opportunities where a defect could occur, actually you achieve only 3.4 defects per million, right? When that is the statistical definition of uh, Six Sigma. Now, from the, uh, from the total quality management perspective, Six Sigma is a program designed to reduce defect, lower cost, and improve customer satisfaction. That is the Six Sigma manifestation in the total quality management terms. Now, uh, what actually Six Sigma uh, was developed, uh, what does it mean for the companies who developed it? Originally it was developed by Motorola, GE and Honeywell. Uh, they also adopted it in its uh, very, uh, originally when the concept was uh, uh, brought forward. It is a highly structured approach to process improvement. It is a strategy, it is a discipline and an approach also known as DMI. And we'll be discussing the DMAIC approach here. This, from the statistical perspective, looking at this uh, diagram, here we see three sigma. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, you are familiar with uh, the the normal curve. And in productivity and in statistical uh, quality control techniques, we use this uh, normal curve or bell-shaped cur curve, which we call. Uh, very frequently. In this bell shaped curve, the three sigma means 2,700 defects per million, right? And in plus minus six sigma means 3.4 defects per million, right? It means all these, this is the area where the defects are not there. I mean, you try to achieve, uh, to remain uh, let's say if you want Six Sigma, this is your lower limit, this is your upper limit. So this is the statistical concept means you have 99.9997% compliance means of your product and services are uh, without defect or meet the quality standard or meet the characteristics required. Now, that is the statistical manifestation. Now, it seems a tough call that 3.4 per defects per million. How do we achieve this standard? I think uh, that is again a total quality management approach, which I was discussing a DMAIC approach, applying the Six Sigma 
concept using the STEMIC approach, which says define critical output and identify gaps for the improvement. First of all, unless and until you know what you really are looking at, unless you look at in its totality, unless you look at your problem, you cannot really make any improvement. Define critical output. It means if you have number of outputs, there will be only a few which are very critical, uh, 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 critical outputs. Then measure. Measure the work and collect process data. I mean, in total quality management, there is a lot of record keeping required. There is a lot of measurement required. You have to be always on the toe in order to, uh, to get, let's say, that sort of uh, quality uh, achievement. Then analyze the data. Improve the process and control the new process to make sure new performance is maintained. Again, DEMIAC is a continuous approach continuous approach and all departments, everybody in the organization, be it production, be it marketing, be it finance, particularly operations, all have to work together to achieve that level of uh, perfection. Now, how do we implement Six Sigma? It is emphasized effects per million opportunities as a standard metric. It means you have to measure your performance, your quality achievement, as uh, defects per million. Not defect per hundred or defect per thousand, defect per million. You, that have to be used as a standard metric. Now, provide extensive training. Again, uh, looking at what Deming said, training is significant. Focus on corporate sponsor support. Champions, champions. You remember leadership? Creating leadership at every level, at top level, middle level, operational level, in finance, in marketing, in production, and so on then create qualified process improvement experts, black belts, green belts. The people who have studied quality as a subject and practiced again and again and again, and they are certified black belts or green belts. Then set stretch objectives. Means it is not that you, uh, you, have some, you, you, you establish some objective and then settle on that. No, always improve uh, your objectives. Uh, you, your, your objectives should be set and then reset higher, higher, and so on. This cannot be accomplished without a major commitment from the top level management. This right. is very important as we have discussed so, earlier. Uh, we looked at the criticality of the employees and the workers in operations management. How does it relate to the total quality management? Aisha, I think, uh, uh, let me rewind a little back. You recall uh, when we discussed the mission statement, the significance of company's mission statement? All the mission statements which we looked at, for example, Arnold Palmer Hospital, we looked at Federal Express, and we looked at Boeing, and so on. Many companies, uh, we, we saw their mission statement. And three things were common. One was the uh, profitability to stockholders. Customer is the king. And empowered employee, satisfied employee, is the name of the game. These were the three common elements in the mission statement which we looked at, uh, top uh, Fortune 500 or Fortune uh, 100 or Fortune 1000 companies. Now, employee is the kingpin, is the, is the, I would say, central because employee will have to produce it. Employee will sell it. Employee will, uh, whatever, without employee, your organization does not exist. As such, employees are taken as an asset be it an airline, be it a bank, be it any organization. Employees are taken as an asset. And getting employees involved in product and process improvement is the key. 85% of the quality problem are due to the process and material. Employees can take care of that. Techniques kya hai? Build communication networks that include employees. Employees are not to be left out of the loop. Develop open, supportive supervisors. Move responsibility to the employees. Don't consider that employees are not capable to take responsibility. Give them a responsibility. Build a high morale organization. Everybody is 10 feet tall, is proud of his or her organization, is proud of what he or she is building. Create formal team structure. It is, if you have to be, it's not one person cannot do it. Team is required. Then quality circle is a concept which the quality gurus have uh, developed. Build quality circles which are groups of employees who meet regularly to solve the problems. Trained in planning, problem solving and statistical method. Often led by a facilitator. 
and very effective when done properly. Quality circles, normally production environment and in operations environment, quality circle is the way to involve employee, to empower employee in the quality and, and, and integrate employees in the quality improvement process. Then uh, benchmarking is uh, yet another concept. Then there is internal benchmarking external benchmarking. If you have number of department and one of your department does exceptionally well, then you take that department as, as, as your, uh, let's say, role model and benchmark other departments compared to that particular department. Now, or external benchmarking. Look at the top firms or top industry doing best in the business you are and then bench, take that as standard and benchmark yourself against that. The, this benchmarking is basically selecting the best practice to use as a standard of performance. Means that could be internal, that could be external. Determine what to benchmark. Means that is a process. What do you actually need to benchmark? Form a benchmark team, identify benchmarking partners, collect and analyze benchmarking information, then take actions to match or exceed the benchmark. Benchmark is basically you are looking at standards and now you are striving to achieve these standards. Best practice for resolving customer complaint, for example, would be make it easy for the client to complain, right? Respond quickly to complaints. Resolve complaints on first contact. Use computers to manage complaints. Recruit the best for customer service jobs. And next concept in total quality management is just in time. And just in time basically has, uh, is, is very strongly related with the quality. It has a relationship. Just in time cuts the cost of quality. We'll see how. Just in time improves quality. Better quality means less inventory and better, easier to employ just in time system. Uh, now let's look at the example. If you have unreliable vendors, work in progress inventory levels hides problem. Means you have inventories here. You have scrap here, you have capacity imbalances. It means all these, if you have huge inventories, then the problems are, uh, uh, problems are hidden here. Now, if you reducing inventory reveals problems so they can be solved. Means if you reduce inventory here, 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 your problem immediately will come to uh, upfront. The last concept in uh, total quality management, the seven concept which we will discuss is Taguchi concept, which is basically engineering and experimental design method to improve product and process design. Identify key component and processes, variable affecting product, and Taguchi concept moves for three independent concepts. One is quality robustness. It means no matter how difficult situation or environment is, you consistently meet quality standard. Then quality loss function and target oriented quality. These are the three concept of hallmarks of Teguchi concept. Now, quality loss function shows that cost increases as the product moves away from what the customer wants. The quality loss function, Teguchi says, if you meet the customer requirement, your loss is less. As you move away from the customer requirement, your lo loss starts increasing. And that is uh, explained in this diagram. We see your product best meets your customer requirement best here in this area. It means your loss, low loss. From best to good to fair to poor to unacceptable means these are the levels where your product or service is acceptability to the customer. As you move from the unacceptable to the best, this normal curve indicates that your the lower limit here, upper limit here, your area in the target, it keeps on increasing. That means the more you meet customer sets, uh, requirements, the better off you are. That is the Toguchi concept of quality loss function. The target oriented quality yields more product in the best category. That is the, I would say, the main point in Toguchi's quality loss function concept. Target oriented quality brings product towards the target value. You will have more product which, which is within the closer to the target value. And conformance oriented quality keeps products within three standard deviations. 
Thank you, sir, for giving us insight into the tools and techniques of total quality management. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we learned Deming's 14 principles, Sheehart's PDCA, and elaborated upon seven total quality management concepts that are continuous improvement, Six Sigma, employee empowerment, benchmarking, just in time, the Gucci concepts, knowledge of total quality management tools. With these concluding uh, thoughts, um, we conclude our session. Uh, next time we will continue um, our discussion on the tools of total quality management. Till then, Allah Hafiz.